His victims number many hundreds, lives forever changed by Ian Patterson's needless surgery. Today, some of them met to read the report that reveals how badly they were let down. Everybody knew about him. A lot of people knew about him. Yeah. He destroyed my life. And there is no doubt that the NHS and the private sector have failed us. It's been a nightmare just to be listened to. It's been a nightmare. Eight years after colleagues first warned that Ian Patterson was using unofficial surgical techniques, he was still performing unnecessary operations at two hospitals in the West Midlands run by private health firm Spire and also at the heart of England NHS Trust. Well, I think it's a culture of avoidance and denial. Um, he was given the benefit of the doubt when there were questions raised about his practice again and again whereas the benefit of the doubt should have gone to patients in their safety. The consequences of not suspending him from practice were that many other patients suffered. Among his recommendations are a database of consultants' clinical performance so patients can easily check their track record, that a team of clinicians must discuss surgery before it happens, and that any staff being investigated for practicing unsafely are always suspended with anywhere else they work, NHS or private, informed. What we really hope for now is that people realise that the culture of whistleblowing has changed. This government wants people to speak up, for people to listen and to act. Apologising to victims, Spire Healthcare said significant investment and progress has already been made, while Heart of England NHS Trust said we fully support recommendations that will reinforce transparent and publicly accountable practice. The report also demands changes to how victims of doctors are compensated. Patterson was jailed for 20 years in 2017, but settling the claims of 750 of his victims took another two years. We had to uh, sue Spire, the NHS and Mr Patterson, because Mr Patterson only had £10 million worth of insurance cover, which was never going to be enough, and therefore we had to include the other parties in the court proceedings. This inquiry records in devastating detail a system it describes as dysfunctional at every level and how the NHS and a private hospital chain could both allow this man to damage so many people's lives. Catherine Jones, Five News. Well, as we heard in Catherine's report, Ian Patterson's work destroyed the lives of many who had trusted him and yet been abused. Now they say they will continue to fight until changes are made. Peter Lane has been speaking to three of them. My body has been invaded for no reason whatsoever. How dare he do this to me? What have I done to him? Just a very evil person, I think. I don't think any of us will ever know why I did such a thing. What was that moment like to have the realisation of what's happened to you? The lie, the unnecessary surgery, there was never cancer. To be in a room and be told that. It was like being told you've got cancer again. It was a shock. It was like a brick hitting you in the face. You know, you've gone through all this physical trauma, mental trauma, the family putting all them through it and there was never any need for it whatsoever. Why do you think he did it? To my mind, monetary gain um, and on top of that, he liked to think he was God. I was his hobby, I think it was a hobby to operate on women vulnerable women. What he's done is really unforgivable. And the system allowed him to carry on doing that? The system did allow him to carry on doing that and there should have been some detection in that system to stop that happening. I don't even think he would remember me. I'm probably just a nothing to him. He's a lot to me. I look at what he's done to me every day, but he probably wouldn't even recognise my face. You always trust the person who's looking after you, and um, I completely trusted him. I think evil sums him up for me, just an evil person. Evil is a very powerful word, an mm. evocative word. Mm. You don't use it lightly. No. But it no. fits in this case, you'd say. Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, for me, yeah, I, I think it was just an evil thing to do. I know we're supposed to forgive, but it would probably take a long time to forgive somebody like that.